I just couldn't get out of bed today. Just found myself just laying there and just sort of started doing a bit of editing and then was like, yeah, still can't, still can't get myself out of bed. So I think I'm now at that point where I am pretty much physically and mentally tired with um, just where I'm at. I mean, I don't even know, what are we on? Day 33, maybe? I can feel that I do need, I need a couple of rest days. I can feel it. I can feel it in my body. I can feel it in my feet. The plan is that I will be getting to Edinburgh before my parents arrive because they are going to come to Edinburgh and spend a couple of days with me before I move on. I'm going to get there a couple of days probably before one or two days and I think I'll get myself booked into whatever the cheapest hostel is and just rest up. So I'm currently just walking through a public path right now to go through Bolment to head to the canal and then go all the way to Linlithgow Palace. Oh, I'm having such a great day walking down the canal purely because every single person that's gone past on a canal boat has waved at me. <laughs> it just lifts your spirits, it just makes you feel that little bit happier having that little human interaction and uh, yeah it definitely makes me want to do boat life for sure. <laughs> Something that has always been ticking inside me and my partner's head and watching <laughs> thank you no you're fine <laughs> yeah and watching everyone on the boats they just seem so happy and so relaxed and they yeah, everyone's just really lovely today so what started off as a little bit of frustration for myself because I just could not get out of bed <laughs> and I was like ooh that's a late checkout going to uh, stay in bed for a bit longer. I was walking down now just going, oh god, it's actually a lot longer to Linlith go than I actually realised. But it's fine. The day has turned around lovely. I've got lovely weather. I'm passing lovely people. I'm knackered. But other than that, no complaints. This is really unnerving. <laughs> I'm very, very high up right now. There is a big drop on this side. And then to my right side, a canal. <laughs> I don't think I've ever walked across anything like this before. And then to top it off, it's cobbles. So, yeah giving me a bit of a shaky walk. Linlithgow Palace was once a residence of Scottish royalty and is most famous as the birthplace of Mary Queen of Scots, one of Scotland's most legendary figures. Mary was born here on December 8th, 1542, in the very rooms of this palace. At just six days old, she inherited the Scottish throne after the death of her father, King James V. Though it is now a magnificent ruin, Linlithgow Palace was once a royal retreat, boasting elaborate architecture and stunning surroundings, designed to showcase the wealth and power of the Scottish Crown. 
Linlithgow Palace has also become a star on the screen. In the first season of Outlander, the palace was used to represent Wentworth Prison. The palace's striking ruins and surroundings were also featured in Outlaw King, the Netflix film starring Chris Pine, which tells the story of Robert the Bruce.